These are the top 11 tips to follow when starting a ketogenic diet. Number one, start simple. Keep it simple, especially when you begin this diet. The best way to start keto is to use a simple framework. Pick a protein like chicken, beef, pork, or eggs. Next, select a low carb vegetable, cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, or bell peppers. Then add a fat like butter, oil, cheese, or nuts. Number two, remove temptations. One of the easiest keto diet tips to implement is to get rid of the foods you need to avoid. It is much easier to stick to your goals if you are not constantly fighting temptation. Get rid of the following in your fridge and pantry. Remove sugar, grains, remove starchy vegetables, eliminate legumes, Remove high sugar fruits, low fat dairy and milk, seed and vegetable oils. Remove processed low carb foods, depending upon ingredients. So be sure to read the labels for the hidden sugar, starch and artificial ingredients. If others in your household want to continue eating these foods, gather everything you want to avoid and store it together. That way you can have at least a certain portion of the cupboard and the fridge shelf for your items. Number three, stock your fridge. Along with getting rid of all of the good stuff, fill your fridge with plenty of good stuff. Healthy fats like avocado oil, butter, and coconut oil. Leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, and kale. Low carb vegetables that grow above the ground, like zucchini, cauliflower, and asparagus. Meats such as beef and pork, poultry, chicken and turkey, and seafood like fish and shellfish. Include full fat dairy like cheese and heavy cream, eggs, and low carb fruit like avocado, raspberries, and coconuts. Number four, stock your pantry. Don't forget to stock your pantry with the keto staples. Pantry ingredients are most prone to be high in carbs, but here are a few of the items you will want to keep. Herbs and spices like basil, dill, and cinnamon. Low carb condiments like mayonnaise, hot sauce, and mustard. Nuts and seeds like almonds, macadamia nuts, and sunflower seeds. Sugar-free beverages can include water, coffee, and tea. Number five, ease into it. If you're starting a keto diet, coming from eating a lot of carbs and sugar, cutting it all out cold turkey might be a shock. It can cause temporary keto flu symptoms and cravings, and while these can be manageable, it doesn't mean that's the only way. Here are a few ways to ease into it that might be helpful. Apply a couple of these keto tips and tricks at a time, and that will give your body some time to adjust. Slowly cut out foods. Eliminate all sugars first, like soda and candy. Then eliminate the complex carbs, like bread, pasta, starchy vegetables, and lastly, eliminate fruit. Listen to your body's signals and be patient. If you finished your meal and are still hungry, try drinking some water, brushing your teeth, or distracting yourself with something fun to do. Or simply wait 20 minutes for your brain to catch up. If you're hungry after that point, try a salty, water-packed snack like olives or pickles. Number six, carbs are a limit, protein is a goal, and fat is a lever. 
The most important key to getting into ketosis is restricting carbohydrates, but there is one more item to it. Your other macros, which is short for macronutrients, play a role as well. In a nutshell, here is how to understand macros for the keto diet. Carbs are a limit. This means you set the maximum that you can consume per day. Typically, up to 20 to 30 grams a day for most people. Protein is a goal. This means you want to reach this number each day. So try not to go below the goal. Fat is a lever. After your carb limit and protein goal, the remaining calories you need for the day come from fat. This is what keeps your body satisfied and provides the majority of your energy source. Number seven, portions do matter. Portions are related to keto diet tip number six. Even though calories and portions are not the primary focus of a ketogenic lifestyle, they still matter. It's still possible not to lose weight or even gain weight on keto if you consume too much. This would be the case with any diet. The key to remember is that fat is a lever. Number eight, eat only when hungry. A common question received is whether you should eat when you are hungry or not. Ketosis actually acts as a natural appetite suppressant. So you may find that you don't get hungry as often or not as ravenously. Number nine, avoid the keto flu. Maybe you've heard of the keto flu, or maybe you've just experienced side effects of starting keto. It's one of the most common questions about the keto diet for beginners. As your body shifts its primary fuel source from glucose and carbohydrates to ketones and fat, it can take your body some time to adjust to this metabolic change. Ketosis also flushes out a lot of water stored in the body, which can cause your electrolyte levels to dip. Number 10, stay hydrated. Drinking water is great for anyone, but especially if you are in ketosis. Eating carbs causes us to store more water in our bodies, while a keto diet flushes out more water, so it's even more crucial to drink enough. Aim for 16 cups per day. Number 11, make easy keto recipes for beginners. Keto recipes are not 100% required to stick to a keto lifestyle, but they sure make it easy and more enjoyable. Once you have the basics down, introducing your old comfort food favorites in keto form, like keto bread or keto casseroles, can help you stick to it long term.